Hey everybody, Roby here with the Divi Engine team and we are diving in deeper with Divi memberships today. I'm going to show you how to build a login page for membership site full in Divi with, of course, our Divi membership plugin. And what we're doing is we're going to be recreating something similar to this login form. I just want to show you where the settings live and all that fun stuff. So without messing around too much, why don't we get right into it right now? Alrighty, so here we are, of course, in the back end of our Divi site, and we have Divi installed, and we're using again this Divine Vine Wine Estate example. And I'm going to show you guys how to do some of the conditional logic here, also that I have used. But of course, as you can see, when we go to the login page here, we're already logged in, but that is using that conditional logic to do that. So that's fun stuff. So let's go back here. Now, the way that you do this is you're going to have to create a page with your login module on it. So I'm going to show you what our existing login page looks like so that you can take a gander at that, get a sense of what's on the page here. Now, I'm not using the visual builder just because I want you to see the modules that I'm using. And as you can see, there's a lot of fluff here. But then when I come over here and I drag this window in for you, you can see what it looks like on the front end. This is, of course, the incognito window because I am not logged in. OK, so let's say goodbye to that again for now, and then I'll hop back here. Now, in the previous video that I did here or one of the previous videos, kind of did a walkthrough and you would have seen this page probably with the module on there. And the real workhorse here is this login form with the V membership. So let's go and create a new login page. And this one's going to look differently. It's not going to be the sexiest page you'll ever see, but it is going to be functional. So we'll just say membership login for the name. You can call it, of course, whatever you like. No big deal. I activated the Divi Boulder, you would have noticed. And I am going to say, let's build this puppy from scratch. And cool. So for this one, I am just going to go ahead and put our heading and just add a single row. And then I'm just going to type in login and you'll see that, okay, well, the default Divi login module shows up, but we're going to go login form for Divi membership. First thing you're going to want to do is give it a title. So log into your account. You can put that in there. And then now let's see what we have here on the front end. So when we activate the front end view, you can go ahead and add the reminder or the remember me, or you can remove the last password, that's fine to do. Now, what you want to decide is the function of what happens once the user has been logged in. So do you want to redirect them? So you redirect them either to a page, right? You can redirect them to their profile page, or you can redirect them to their account page where they manage their subscriptions, that type of stuff, or you can specify a specific URL. Now, for me personally, I'm going to want to go to my account page. Let's just say that. But I just want to show you here, if you say redirect page, it'll list all the pages that you do have on your site. So just pick whatever you want to happen for you, but I'm going to go to my account page. Okay. Now text options here, it gives you the placeholder text or the input text there that you can say, okay, now it gives you a little preview, but you can just say username and you'll see that update live right here. And then password, whatever, the remember me text you can set, you can just, you know, add what you want. <laughs> like these are pretty self-explanatory. So, but some of you asked for this, so we added it in there for you. And now you can say log me in or whatever. Cool. Now, as far as options go, you can say, okay, I want this in one column or two columns. I'm going to say two columns because I think that's fancy. Now that feature is not Visual Boulder compatible yet, but I'm going to go ahead and publish this and show you guys that it is actually working because when it refreshes, we should see it next to each other. No, that's not Visual Boulder compatible. That's my bad. But if I go to the front end, however, I'm going to be logged in so it won't show you. Oh, actually, we'll show you. Cool. So here is your login details side by side as opposed to the single column. So that's that's a fun thing in there for you that you can utilize. When we go back into the settings, let's keep a diving in. The other things were enable the field labels. So of course, a field label are these things that you see up here. 
we're not uh, going to remove them, but it's good for you to know that you can take them out. And then you can enable the placeholder, which of course then is going to show you this text that's in there. Enable, if I save it, I'm going to save it here. And I just want to show you on the front end also. Refresh. And now I've got the placeholder text in there, you see. Okay. So let's keep on trucking here. I'm not going to get into the details of like changing the colors of stuff because you guys are smart. You know that you, that's why you're using Divi. And then, you know, you, we can see some other things, the background color. You can make it a real form if you like to. And then in the design, you have your typical field settings for these various fields. You can add the margin, you can center them, you can do all that fun stuff. You can style the title. So if I want to make the title all caps and I want to make it ultra bold, if I can click the right thing, there we go. You, you can do so. We can even make it nice and large. There we go. Log into your account. Now, the rest of the stuff is pretty easy. You can style the label text. So if you wanted to give that a different font, you can go with Roboto or you can italicize it. You can do whatever you want. T typical stuff that you will find in any Divi module. Now, I know no people have been asking about the lost password a bit because here you can see that it's all blue. You can definitely style that text color because all you need to do is go and say, okay, well, I want it black, red, or whatever. You can make that text smaller. You can make it larger, but this is not, as you can see, Visual Builder compatible. So I'm going to go ahead and save it just to show you again that it does indeed work. Okay, let's refresh. And then you can see that the text has been modified. All right. Okay, so just a couple more settings I want to look at here for you in design is that you can change things like the error message, to, like the error message, text, uh, colors, and all that fun stuff. You can style the button. You guys are smart. You know how to do all that stuff. Now, if we look at my official login form here, I've got this text here to show up when the user is logged in because what's the point of having a login form for somebody that is indeed logged in? Cool. So let let me show you how I've done so. I'm coming back over here. I'm going to make another row, make it single column, and I'm just going to add text. Now, this is going to look very ugly. I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you, but let's just say you are logged in, dummy. And then we'll just make that like a H3 or something. Let's do H3. And bam, that's really incredible design work there. Okay, now the important part go into the row settings and go to the advanced tab. Go to conditions, and now you say element visibility, unrestricted content. That's not what you're looking for. This is, of course, the Divi membership settings. But what you want to look at here is display conditions, which is the default Divi display conditions. So we want to make sure that it's by logged in status and your user is logged out. It will show that no. We want to show it when the user is logged in. We will enable the condition. We say, heck yeah. And we go save that. And now, of course, here, what you want to do is go to the advanced tab. You're going to go to the conditions. You're going to scroll down to the Divi conditional settings. We're going to use logged in status yet again. And we're going to say if the user's logged in, no, if the user's logged out, we want to display that. So go ahead and save that, save that, and save that. Now, you would have noticed a quick notice there that said if you're using a caching plugin, you need to purge the cache. Make sure you do that. Okay. So let's try our new login form here. That's the old one. This is the new one. When I refresh the page, you can see that it says you are logged in dummy. And if I copy this URL and I go here to my other example again, and I go paste that URL in there, you can see that this is an incognito window. So of course it's going to show you things as if you're not logged in. So there you go. That's how we do this part of the exercise. But I want to show you one more thing. Of course I do. I always do. We've checked this out. Let's go to the Divi membership settings because now maybe you want to assign this new login page, right? So you can go here to the endpoints and then you can go ahead and select, well, the login page, I want it to be membership login is going to be the endpoint for the login page. So when a user goes in and types in or clicks on, like, like let's say maybe my account, it's going to take them there. So coming back over here, let me bring you up. And I go to my account or whatever the case might be. So it's the endpoint here is account. And if I type that in, it's going to bring us to this login page. Now, just see what happens if I keep it on the old page that we had in there. If I just keep it on login and I save that, I come back here, 
refresh. Oh no, that's not gonna be the right way to do it. If I go here to account, it should redirect us and it does redirect us to the old login page. So there you have it. This is everything you need to know about the login page for Divi membership and how to add a login page for your membership account using the Divi theme. Now, if you guys like this video, of course, like, subscribe, make sure you don't miss anything. If you don't have Divi membership yet, what are you waiting for? Go to the Divi Engine website or the link in the description and pick it up. Great tool for you to make money with your content. All right, guys, this has been Roby with the Divi Engine team. Thank you for your time. Bye for now.